This is a story about how I made a 15-year-old little girl cry on an airplane. <laughs> Me and my family are on our way to Disneyland, and we're super excited. It's going to be a great time. Cassie is sitting next to me, and she looks at me, and she's like, Hey, I'm going to put my Air AirPods in and listen to my Harry Potter book. I'm like, cool, cool, totally cool. So she's listening to Harry Potter. Well, while she's listening, announcements come on, right? They're going over the safety of the plane, what to do in an accident, blah, blah, blah. So the stewardess walks by, and she's like, Hi, like, can I get you guys anything? Well, Cassie's not paying attention. She has her AirPods in and she's listening to Harry Potter. And she's like, and so I look over at this lady and I'm like, yes, I would love a Diet Coke. And she was like, awesome. I'll be right back with that. So she leaves. They come back and she even tried to get Cassie's attention. And Cassie was like, hi, and just smiled. That was it. So she comes back and she's like handing out Diet Cokes and stuff. Cassie looks at me and she's like, How'd you get a Diet Coke? I was like, dude, they came around and asked. Like, you can ask for one. It's okay. Like, she was like, Shelby, I don't want to ask for one. Like, I already missed it. And I was like, dude, just ask. That's literally like part, that's like half of their job is to make sure that you're comfortable on the plane and have what you want. So just ask for one. I'm sure she'll give you one. Cassie goes, I can't do that. Shelby, please ask. And I was like, Dude, you're 15 years old. I am not asking for your Diet Coke. You can ask for a Diet Coke. She looks at me and she starts tearing up. And she's like, Shelby, I can't ask. Please ask for a Diet Coke for me, please. I was like, are you freaking, are you crying? And she's like, Shelby, I just want a Diet Coke, please. And I said, okay, all right. Chill out, man. I was like... If they come back around, we'll get you a Diet Coke. They did not come back around and we did not get her a Diet Coke, which I feel pretty shitty about now. I could have literally just gotten up and asked for one, but she could have done that too. Anyways, that's the story about how I made a 15-year-old cry on a plane.